This video will demonstrate how to build a comment that can be used on the elementary provincial report card. This specific example focuses on a student in grade 7 history who is performing at level 2. However, the same framework can be applied to other subject areas accordingly. With the implementation of Growing Success in 2010, teachers were provided with direction on creating personalized comments for students on the elementary provincial report card. Growing Success states, in writing anecdotal comments, teachers should focus on what students have learned, describe significant strengths, and identify next steps for improvement. In addition, it says, the comments should describe in overall terms what students know and can do and should provide parents with personalized, clear, precise, and meaningful feedback. The question becomes, how do we fill this space in a professional manner that follows the direction from the ministry to meet the needs of students and parents? The comment framework developed from Growing Success 2010 assists teachers in composing personalized comments on report cards. The comment framework provides a common process for creating comments that reflect the intent of growing success. There are three components in this framework. Write key learning with qualifiers and descriptors developed from a cluster of expectations which focuses on what students have learned. Share specific examples that demonstrate learning by describing significant strengths of the student's work. Communicate next steps to students and parents that will identify strategies for improvement. We'll begin the process of building a comment by recalling key learning linked to a cluster of curriculum expectations that best reflect a specific student's performance. We are building a sample comment that focuses on one particular student's achievement in grade 7 history. Teachers are encouraged to consider which strand and cluster of expectations best reflects the individual student's achievement. Within the New France strand, there are three overall expectations. In this example, identify and explain similarities and differences in the goals and interests of various groups in New France, including French settlers, First Nation peoples, and both French and English fur traders, is the overall expectation that leads to the development of a learning goal. The learning goal is based on a cluster of specific expectations that are related back to the overall expectation. We continue the process of building a comment by reviewing the learning goal that was developed based on our cluster of expectations. Learning goals are brief statements that describe for students what they should know and be able to do by the end of a period of instruction. The learning goal represents subsets or clusters of knowledge and skills that the student must master to successfully achieve the overall curriculum expectations. Here we begin to develop a learning goal from the overall expectation, incorporating key learning from the specific expectations. After writing your learning goal, it is good practice to ask yourself the following questions. Is the learning goal written in student-friendly language? Is the learning goal based on multiple expectations? As a result of reflecting on these questions, the learning goal becomes, we are learning to compare and contrast viewpoints from various groups in New France about the fur trading industry. We begin writing our report card comment by describing the student's achievement of the key learning. We use qualifiers and descriptors to develop this learning goal into a comment that is personalized for this student. So our comment begins with, Liam compares and contrasts a few viewpoints from French settlers, First Nations peoples, and fur traders as they relate to the fur trading industry. We continue the process of building a comment by reflecting on the student's achievement in relation to the success criteria. Success criteria are standards or specific descriptions of successful attainment of learning goals developed by teachers on the basis of criteria in the achievement chart and discussed and agreed upon in collaboration with students. 
They are used to determine to what degree a learning goal has been achieved. Criteria describe what success looks like and allow the teacher and the student to gather information about the quality of student learning. Here we can see how we have developed success criteria based on the learning goal. When we consider each individual student, we select those criteria that pertain to individualized achievement. We continue writing our report card comment by identifying the criteria that best reflect this particular student's strengths. We share specific classroom examples that demonstrate this student's learning. So our comment continues with, he designed a web page based on his inquiry that showed some attitudes that First Nations peoples and fur traders had regarding trapping by embedding a Venn diagram to compare and contrast. We continue writing our report card comment by identifying the criteria that best reflect this particular student's next steps. So our comment communicates the following next steps to this student and his parents. During future inquiry projects, he should formulate more precise questions to gather more information. In a well-developed, personalized comment, students will see themselves and parents will recognize their child. In reviewing our comment, we recognize the following. Liam's key learning, specific examples of his strengths, and next steps that may help him improve. We are able to fill this space in a professional manner that follows the direction from growing success using the comment framework to meet the needs of students and parents. The comment framework provides personalized, clear, precise, and meaningful feedback for this student. Additional resources, including a copy of the comment framework and examples of specific comments for various divisions, can be found at ae.misalondon.ca.